Hello friends and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today we are cleaning and resetting my master bedroom and bath for early spring and I am in the mood for a neutral cottage early spring kind of vibe and so that's what I'm going for in the bedroom today. If you're new here, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Once you do, I hope you'll hit the bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming content. This is a lifestyle channel and we do cleaning, decorating, DIYs, some shopping, hauls, and the occasional recipe as well. It's all about living life and living life on a budget, but living large in small fakes and small spaces. I hope that you will join us. So if you want to see how everything turns out today, come on in and let's get started. So friends, I hope you're having a good week. It's been busy for us. My husband has been having some car troubles. So I'm up every morning now at five, taking him into work and back out again to pick him up. I'll be glad when he gets the Jeep fixed. But here we are today and I am resetting our master bedroom. It is time for a deep clean and, um, and a, and a reset. Now it's not warm enough outside yet for me to open my windows and clean them, but I am going to clean everything else that I can. And after doing so, I'm going to style it for an early spring, but in a neutral kind of cottagey vibe. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going for. So I want you to leave me a comment when it's over and let me know if you think I made it, if I reached my goal. So now I'm stripping the bed and I'm going to take the linen down and get it in the laundry. And while that's washing, I'm going to do some dusting and then I'm going to go into the bathroom and get it done while the laundry is being done. You know, doing that uh, multitasking, but it works and it gets things done a little quicker. So uh, as you can see, I have to climb on top of the bed to get everything done, but you know, that's how we work. And I'm also going to straighten out this nightstand drawer. This is mine. And you're going to see lots of pill bottles. We don't take that much medication, but um, we also keep Tylenol. And my hus I take Tylenol. My husband prefers a leave. And um, you're going to see those kind of things in there. But it's really not that much. He takes two meds and I take three. So, um, yeah. But we're straight. I'm straightening everything up and getting it all cleaned out. Uh, I don't know how, but these nightstand drawers, they get packed with stuff and sometimes it's stuff you don't even need. Like our phones now no longer take the headsets that you plug into the phone. You know, everything is wireless. And I have a whole container back there full of them because, you know, we, we kept a lot of them. And I use readers, so I have, I'm like Fred Sanford. My husband calls me Fred Sanford because I have readers in every room, just in case, you know. <laughs> And I kind of laugh because he's right. I do have a bunch of them. Uh, I like to buy them from uh, Marshalls because they, they're kind of stylish. And I have real glasses, but they don't work when I'm on my computer very well. So, yeah, that's the issue with that. I paid all that money and didn't make sure that they were computer savvy. Next time, I'll know better. But I'm going to go through the drawers and clean everything out. And then we'll move along. To the bathroom and I'm going to set this to some nice smooth music for you now and I'll pop in and out. I'm going to ask though that you stay until the reveal and watch the entire video. That really helps my channel. It helps that algorithm find me. Also, if you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you would share it with your family and friends, someone you know that might uh, enjoy it as well. So let's get to cleaning and I'll be back in a bit. Just lay back and crack this window 
It's only daughter, do I make you proud? Writing my life in lyrics to your like the sound. Seeking approval constantly. When it's my truth, I own, I speak it, don't make sense now. Give it a good, yeah. put that on good when it gets hard. I stay on my job like. Hey guys, I'm popping in because I have to tell you this. A glass shower door, I love it. Um, I love them, but they can get really cruddy. I have found, uh, because we had this one put in last year, we had the shower redone. We had to, we had a leak. And I have, I wash it every, after every shower. I spray it down with vinegar and water. That's what's in the big bottle on the top shelf to your left. And there's a squeegee in there and you can see it leaning on the bar. And I just take that squeegee and go over it and I don't really get any soap buildup. Now when I clean the bathroom like I'm doing now, I go over it and I use that Rain X to clean it because that's what they use on car windshields and the water beads and it works out great. So that's just a little tip for you. So you don't get that scope, that soap scum buildup. Just a little spray of vinegar and water and a squeegee. I don't know how big your shower is. I, you, know, you can see ours is not that large, but it just works. So give it a shot. I haven't tried just spraying it with the vinegar and water and not using the, the squeegee. That may make it a little easier for you as well. I don't know. Give it a shot.
I gotta tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life if you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle But I had my ways I found your mind tricks And your side tricks I'm a winner, babe No, you didn't win this It's a part of the game Beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy. I held too close. Now I know, cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. Yeah, if I got a dollar for every time you slammed the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Alive. You wanted that was a game to play Telling you it ain't what 
what I got. Don't wanna be stuck in a spot. Cause I don't really like what I got, so I change it. Bit by bit. It's not ungrateful. Just being helpful for me and you. Cause we gotta go our own way. Gotta, gotta go our own way. Yeah. This was not a good stay. Gotta, gotta go our own way. Always in me, Commonwealth, Lil Joe, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. Lord knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. And I will never sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big drip. Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up. I'ma put my money where my mouth is. Talk a good game, I'm an alpha babe. Even on my worst day, still an alpha babe. Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha babe. So friends, the laundry's done, so I'm putting the bed back together. Um, I'm using mostly creams this time. Even the curtains are cream and white. They're all sheer um, because I like a lot of light and I can close the blinds when I don't want it.
and it's just going to be neutral, a neutral cottage. And I'm adding, you'll see later on that I'll be adding florals and like I did in the bathroom and there'll be greens and whites. I'm just not ready for to pump up the color yet. And I don't know, I may not pump the color up in this room this year. I don't know. Um, you know, my mind could change <laughs> at any moment. But for now, I am content with the neutrals and the greens and the whites. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you ready for the vivid yellows and pinks of spring? Or are you like me still, you're getting in the spring spirit, so to speak, but you're just sort of after Christmas, still not ready for all that color. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear. By the way, my friends, the um, tray that I'm about to sit on the bed, almost everything in there has been DIY'd. The tray itself I thrifted and it was like a lime green. Of course, I spray painted it black. Uh, the little bottle in the back that's holding the um, florals was, um, I think, some kind of liqueur bottle that a friend gave me. And, of course, I upcycled it, sprayed it black, and added the black and white ribbon just to give it a little oomph. And the ball there um, was also thrifted. So everything there, and the books, will, of course, are out of my personal uh, book collection. So everything there, nothing was bought new. I'm looking around the room because I am trying to keep myself um, on a financial diet. I won't say that I'm not buying anything because I do have a few things that I have thrifted that I will share with you in the next video, but I am not buying anything that I don't need. Like I didn't go out and buy florals. I Before I did that, Usually I go and buy them because the season hits and I go and I get more tulips and whatever. This time I decided to pull all of them out before I did that. And I really didn't need to go and get anything. So, yeah, this is what we're working with. Everything that you're seeing here, and I don't want to tell you a fib. So I'm, that's why I'm talking slow and trying to remember what's there. Are things that I already had or that I've upcycled. Stick with me on that. You might enjoy it too. Just shop your home or upcycle some things that you're not using in the same way anywhere in, anymore or if you enjoy it try thrifting tell me what can i do So friends, it's that time. It's time for the reveal. I thank you all who have stuck and stayed with me for this length of the video. It was a little long, but um, I wanted to take you through the whole process. I get different feedback. Some people say they like it when I show everything and some say they prefer me just to show the end result. This one, I just let the camera run um, as I put things into place. Uh, if you stayed with me this long, how about leaving me a heart emoji? In the comments below as you know it's it's heart health month and all of us know someone or suffer ourselves with heart issues and it's a very important issue and um, you can leave me a heart below also it's black history month and um, if you are also into the finite intricacies of black history you could also leave me um, maybe a praying hand uh, in the comments below as well I hope that you have enjoyed the video as much as it needed to be done my home needed to be cleaned and I just brought you along for the ride and the decor is neutral 
not much color at all and you know what with the black and the white in the bathroom and the beige and the white and the green throughout um, I'm feeling relaxed and pleased with it all I hope you are as well and I'm calling this my neutral cottage vibe let me know if you have a better name for it <laughs> you may think it's boring but for now it works for me um, let me mention too that the beige thing standing there with the birds it came blank and I DIY'd it I stamped the birds in because I had the other birds sitting there on a book it's kind of a bird theme as you know if you follow me I collect birds crystal bells elephants bunnies <laughs> uh, yeah quite a few things but this this week it's birds so I hope you've enjoyed the video um, I'm glad that it's done I hope it has inspired you if you need to do a little you know, I don't know early spring cleaning yourself and I thank you guys for sticking with me for my ride or dies you know how I feel about you I love you I love you I love you I would not still be doing this if it were not for you those of you that come back every week I have just enjoyed getting to know some of you and becoming what I like to call um, virtual friends because we do share things if you're new to the channel I want to welcome you to the family and I hope that you will become a ride or die that we will converse and get to know each other in the comments as well and if you have not already joined our little family here I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and once you do I hope you'll tap that uh, bell so that you'll be notified of all upcoming content I have quite a few um, what I like to think um, inspiring videos to share with you for the spring and summer months and there will be DIYs as well so I hope that you'll stay around for those and I want to, to say friends I hope that you are joyful today and if you have found your joy because I like to remind you to find something every day to bring joy into your life and once you find your joy please 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 share that joy with someone else as often as you can that's where you get the good feelings when you share joy with someone else and with that said as you take a look around uh, at the reveal I am going to leave you the way that I always do with lots of love with hugs and with blessings I do want you to know though this is a lived-in home so it's not always Pinterest ready but it's always love filled and I like to think clean and more importantly I like to think that I keep it uh, organized that's very important to me the less clutter you have in your home the less clutter you have in your mind I'll see you guys in the next video I love you bye bye